hi guys welcome back so today I'm going to talk about the one and only indicator that I use uh, in analyzing my trades and getting my entries and this indicator I have been using for a long time and uh, it's I have done so many hours of backtesting on this indicator so I find it really useful and this gives me to be honest 100% right signals uh, maybe you have heard about it, maybe you haven't. So today I'll talk about it a bit and I'll show you some backtesting with that. Plus then uh, I'll teach you because it's on the PC, it's really easy to find the indicator. It's easy on TradingView, you can just type and get it. But on mobile, you you won't be able to find it on MT4 or MT5, MetaTrader. But there's a way that you can create the indicator in there. Because this indicator includes, it's a combination of RSI, Bollinger Bands and Moving Averages. So if you want to create it on mobile, on mobile MT5 or MT4, uh, I have the script. I'll give you the script so you can create it and you can use it on mobile as well. All right, so let's get into it. Um, if you are looking at this indicator on PC, on TradingView, I'm using TradingView for my analysis. So if you are using it on TradingView, the way you can find it is uh, I'll just close it. Uh, so you, the way you can find it is click the indicators and strategies and just type TDI. I always use the gold mines one, this one up here, uh, because everything is similar, but there's little differences. But if you use the gold mines, then there's some things that you need to edit, but still it's easier to edit. So you click it once, so you click it once, and the indicator will pop up here okay so then go into settings all right first for the rsi period i would change it to 14 and the this band length is bollinger band length so i'll change it to 34 fast moving is going to be 7 and slow is going to be 2 all right and then press ok so the indicator would look like this Go into style, leave upper band, lower band, middle band, just leave it and slow MA, go in there, increase the opacity to 100 and put whatever the green that you would like to have. I use green because for some reason I like green and red being there. It looks like bulls and bears, so I just like it. So I just leave it there. Uh, green and fast MA similar, put red and then put the opacity to 100 and I have my thickness up to the second one but you can use whatever you like and on the levels these are the RSI levels uh, if you know RSI levels which is like overbought and oversold levels I always like to have overbought and oversold levels a little bit lower uh, I mean oversold a little bit lower than 30 because 30 is it's oversold but sometimes 30 doesn't indicate really oversold because I have seen a lot of times price goes down to 25 20 or 18 so I would change this to 25 and change this to 75 um, I would like to have lines not a dotted line okay and the plot backgrounds no, I don't care I just take it off and then press ok so everything is set okay so this is how it should look like green one the slow moving average and the red one is the fast moving average so you can see this and this would be two day moving average and this seven day moving average if you want to know and this is the middle band of Bollinger Bands so if I'm to explain what this is the slow moving average and the fast moving average they would show you the signal where to buy and where to sell or if you are selling where to sell and where to buy and the Bollinger Bands would show you the volume the volume of the price at the moment the volume of the pair at the moment so I'm having this is a uh, gold this chart is on gold so up here you can see the volume is a bit high here if the bands are really really thin that means volume is a bit lower so trading around here won't make you much profits if you're on the right direction it would give you a little bit of profits but not major profits but if you can see here the volume is really high and the profits or the losses you're gonna have would be big and 
you can see see there's a big move whenever there's a big move bands become a little bit the gap between the band becomes a little bit bigger okay so uh, the middle band of the Bollinger bands always tend to show the direction like I wouldn't rely on that much but you can have a little idea say you can see this it's going down so the direction is a bit down it doesn't say the trend is downtrend it just shows the direction of the candles so it's just down and just goes down all right so let's get into it now the main analysis I do with the uh, traders dynamic index TDI traders dynamic index is when see when the slow moving average and fast moving average crosses it always tends to change the direction not the trend but the direction of the candles so if you are on a uptrend for example you just say if you're on an uptrend or if you're on a consolidation like this it's just not a trend but it just keeps moving up and down if you're on such a such a situation what you can find is see the moment price crosses the fast and fast moving average and the slow or two day moving average or the seven day moving average crosses price changed so it just went upside so it, it was uh, it was going downside but it changed and came upside so if you're using TDI for analysis see this green line here is my 200 moving average so 200 moving average I use it to see the bounces of the price usually price bounced on 200 moving average and when the price reached down to 200 moving average dynamic index crossed that means there's a bounce on the line for sure so that's an analysis that's 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 a good entry so, so if you see this crosses upwards if the green line crosses upwards that means it's a buy if it crosses down it's a sell so I'll I'll just get into a I'll just get into a scenario where you can find a little bit of a trend all right just say okay so this looks like a bit more a bit more like a trend okay so I'll put this line up here and I'll where the green and the red lines crossed and then I'll put another line when they crossed again okay I'll put it up here uh, I'll put it there okay so this zone if you see this zone you will be able to see you see price crossed here okay so it's a downtrend right it's a downtrend it makes higher highs higher highs and lower it went lower lower so if you are to say it's a we'll say it's a sell so the moment it crossed so the, this candle it crossed and it ended up having a cross of red and green lines so you can place a sell here okay. so if you sell here and if you wait until the price crosses back we'll just say somewhere around here so you would be able to see that you made a profit there was a pro uh, put the stop loss just above the last candle if you put the stop loss just above the candle so the uh, risk to reward ratio is 3 to 23 so I mean 1 is to 3 it means you are getting 3 times profit and uh, then the loss so if you can identify these ones every time when you trade you would be able to be successful I'm not saying that you should rely on just one indicator don't just rely on indicators but you can always use indicators to find the right entries so one important thing about dynamic index you would be able to see a lot of crosses price cross here price cross there but never go against the trend I would not recommend see if you if you enter here for a for a buy you'd still be profitable you'll still be able to get the price but I would never recommend that see it 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 did cross up but it, it it didn't go higher it didn't go higher if you see something like it's bouncing on a trend line or like a daily level or support or resistance then yeah of course you can go for the you can go for the trade but if it's just out of nowhere there's a cross for up but see it crossed but it came down again so it's not a valid entry so always go for the trend go with the trend see it's a downtrend here then what I would do it's a downtrend here I see the price crossed 
after this line and then the price cross back again after this line so I would enter I would go for another sell I would I would sell here and then the price uh, would go until this level and through there so the risk reward was five is to well I mean one is to five four to four five so it's five times profit than your risk so like that you can identify entries but make sure you never go against trend I would write it never this is the only rule about TDI never go against the trend never go against the trend okay now we'll do some back testing but I'm gonna give you a really nice tip so you you saw this entry me taking on one hour chart when you are analyzing the TDI I would recommend you to analyze on one hour chart but I would recommend you another one go down to 15 minutes 15 minutes and uh, okay if you go down to 15 minutes and if you sorry about that if you go down to 15 minutes and if you see on 15 minutes you will be able to see much more clear picture than on one hour okay so on one hour I, I told you I'll enter here on this candle right this line where I put it so I, I told you I'll enter here but on 15 minutes you'll be able to see I, I mark the 15 minutes in a different color so 15 minutes the price crossed exactly on this candle I'll mark it on red and um, the price then again changed it its direction on this candle okay so our one hour we entered here but on 15 minutes we entered up here so you could enter here on 15 minutes and then you could have much much more smaller smaller risk ratio and then if you go down to this exact candle here all right so the trade only lasts this long all right so if you if you close to entry at the cross again then the trade only lasts this long and what's what's the ratio what's the ratio again five uh, one is to five risk to reward ratio but if I I took this uh, trade and when I took the trade I I mean you don't have to for the exit you don't have to wait for this to cross you can just do this you see this this is one uh, level that I have marked this line is a daily uh, level I have this analysis done on the daily levels uh, on a different video I'll attach uh, that video to this like I put a link for that video here you can have a look at that as well uh, if you <coughs> look at the daily levels see they had a daily level here so I would put my uh, close up here so on gold it's uh, 2600 sorry 1667 pips uh, which means points uh, so if you check here you can have a look here and you can have the close here so enter here and close here and you got the entry with TDI with the traders dynamic index you got the perfect entry which doesn't have any a uh, little bit of drawdown but not a bigger drawdown maybe two three pip drawdown but you never went back to your stop loss you came back here even if you go go to your stop loss see how small the stops going to be how tight the stops going to be so one thing to understand never go against trend just go with the trend and never ever enter without seeing the cross or anything all right so now I'm going to tell you where you can get this perfectly done now looking at this always I would never recommend to look at charts all day what I would do go up to one hour okay go to the dynamic index just on trading view you can do this just click somewhere just click add alert for dynamic index and then double click that alert now you can go change this into 
dynamic index, not upper band, but slow MA crossing dynamic index, fast MA. So when this cross happens, every time when a cross happens, you'll get an alert. Uh, I, I, I usually I put this on uh, once per bar, so you'll get only one alert per bar, and then uh, let's say just say TDI uh, cross. So whenever these two lines crosses, I would get an alert. So I know, okay, there's a possible entry, and then I can have a look, and I can just get the entry. Okay. Now I'll show you. Okay, if you are using uh, MT4 or MT5 on uh, on your mobile phone, uh, it doesn't matter whatever the mobile you have. Uh, if you're using that, then you can have the TDI on uh, your mobile as well. Not just uh, because if if you're on if you're traveling somewhere, if you're on the bus or if you're on the train, you won't be able to check trading view more often. And the mobile version of trading view is a bit messy because it's, it has so many options. So I use MeterTrader on uh, my mobile. So this is the way you can set, a, set up the TDI. So the first step, add RSI indicator. And uh, there's these options called set period and apply. So follow my uh, lead don't change anything else just change these ones and if you are using a lighter theme on uh, the mobile version of MT5 or MT4 use white color for RSI or you are using a darker theme then use black color because RSI we don't need to show RSI on the TDI indicator because it, uh, we just need the information from uh, the data from RSI, but we don't need RSI to be visible on the TDI. We only use uh, moving, two moving averages, which is fast and the slow. Um, so just follow this. Just uh, go up to the RSI window again and add moving average under the RSI. Uh, not a separate window, but add under RSI. I'll uh, attach some screenshots where you can uh, find what to do so add, add RS, uh, moving average under RSI and set the periods and make sure you have all these ones say the same way that I have mentioned here go to simple and previous indicators data with green color so once you finish this then you will have a, a RSI looking like this I'll show you uh, a screenshot of it and then you can do the same scenario if you see a cross, you can enter. If you uh, see it's crossing again, or uh, if you see um, uh, one more thing, if you see the price touching the Bollinger Bands, because Bollinger Bands always shows the volume. If the price is touching the Bollinger Bands, that means there's a possibility of uh, price changing its direction. This is one example. If you enter here uh, and the Bollinger Bands uh, get touched here by the fast moving average so if you see here price start going up here you don't have to wait for the cross because the cross is in this candle if you see if you wait for this cross then uh, you would lose a little bit, little bit more pips but still you will be on profits but still you will lose a bit of uh, pips so if you close it around here or here where the price hit the Bollinger Bands then you will have a full uh, full set of profits from here to somewhere around here yeah so it's uh, 1049 points which is 10 pips on gold which is really good and it took 13 hours for that trade so it's a, a day's trade and um, that's it that's how you use uh, traders dynamic index uh, which is super easy if you have any questions let me know so I will um, make sure I'll, I'll reply you back uh, if you have any questions or any problems uh, just send me a message on YouTube or you can find me on Instagram or you can find me on TradingView. I have the same name on TradingView as well. If you want to send me a message through that, I'm happy to help. And well, again, the last thing, never ever go against the trend. Even if you see the price, uh, price is hiking, if you see price is like doing so many things, just stay back. Just wait, you will have your chance. There's a lot of entries per day on um, even on gold. There's a lot of entries you can take. You can make a lot of profit, but never go against the trend. 
Alright, thanks guys uh, for watching my video and stay tuned.